If you feel behind in life, this is one of your greatest blessings. I have seen so many videos, so many topics about people talking about how they feel behind in life. They look at this with regret. They look at it with sorrow. They look at it with a negative attitude. And you know what? It is a little bit negative. It does suck to feel like you're behind your friends. It does suck that you do not feel like where you can be financially. It does suck to feel like you are slowly losing the race. But being behind in life is also one of your greatest blessings. In fact, if you look at it with the right perspective, you can completely change your life for the better. The reason why feeling behind in life is so powerful and can be one of the greatest catalysts for change is because it is going to prompt you to do so much more than what the average person would do. So let's take a step back and really think about it. Let's say the average person is content. They know they could be at a better place. They could have a higher salary. They could have a better place. They could be happier with life, but it's okay. It's working out. They're content with it. This person will not nearly make as much progress as the person who clearly knows that they have a problem. They're in a financial sinkhole. They have little to no friends. They don't have the highest self-esteem. The latter person is going to make significantly more strides changing their situation because they literally feel the fire underneath their asses. They realize if I don't do something about this situation, I'm going to fall and I'm gonna fall into a sinkhole that I can't get out of. Meanwhile, most people, most people that you see in your workplace, in school, they're doing what they need to get by. And it works, and it's okay, but that's all it's ever gonna be, just okay. Last year, I was 230 pounds. Last year, I felt like I had little to no friends. Last year, I had one semester left before I had to figure out what the hell I was doing after college, after graduating. And quite literally, I had no idea. I felt like I had very little to show up for it. And when I stepped on the scale and I saw that I was 230 pounds, I realized something had to change. I clearly let myself go both mentally and physically and decided that in my last semester, that would be the greatest comeback I've ever made. And it was the greatest comeback because I went from 230 pounds to 190. I restarted my YouTube channel where you're watching this video from. I made new friends and showed myself that the friends I once had were not a fluke, but that I always had the capability to be a social person, to get to know other people, so on and so on. Even my stupid goal of having the most liked Instagram post I ever made was achieved in that same semester. But you have to understand that I slowly and surely got into a worse and worse place that eventually when I felt so bad where my mental health was absolute crap, my physical health was crap, my social life felt next to non-existent. That was when I had the greatest push to change and self-improve myself. And I quite literally went from someone who was overweight, had no idea what the future was going to look like, to being someone who restarted my YouTube channel, became significantly fitter, had a full-time salary job by the end of the year, and was quite literally celebrating New Year's in another country. But you need to understand, it was only because I got into such a bad place to begin with, I was able to turn that into opportunity. And you can too. So if you feel behind in life, good because that's a mindset shift. Let's play the good game. Instead of seeing I'm so behind in life, that is such a bad thing. See it as good. This is an opportunity for you to have the greatest catalyst towards changing your life for the better because unlike those other people who are satisfied with their complacency, you're going to be someone who's gonna go above and beyond with your work, with your fitness, with your hobbies, with your endeavors and passion because you know you don't have any more time to waste. And that is powerful only if you recognize it as an opportunity that has yet to present itself. And that is why when you feel left behind in life, don't have a negative attitude about it. Don't wallow in self-regret or pity. Recognize it for the opportunity that has yet to be and jump on it because quite literally, it is a problem that can be turned into an opportunity only if you choose to see it that way. With that being said, do more, think less.